With us now is Michael Campion. Welcome to the show, Michael. How are you? Hi, doing fantastic. How about yourself? Good. When we were off camera, I said that all of my ancestors are also Campions. So we were like thinking maybe we could be related. Um, that's so awesome. I've never met another Campion in my life. That's really? amazing. And that's yeah. not your stage name? That's your real name? That's my real name, Michael Campion. I'm yeah. thinking chances are we're probably related. Um, so here we are. It's the middle of July, and it's almost your 18th birthday. That's right. I'm going to be 18 July 26. I'm very happy about it. Uh, I'm actually I'm, I'm going to uh, the beach for a day because it's kind of open here, uh, and that'll be fantastic. I'm Lovely. very excited. Are you down in Florida? That's where you grew up, right? That's right. I'm in Florida right now. Um, okay. I'll be here until like mid-August until things kind of kick up in, in L.A. Now, what was the um, story about Disney opening yesterday? Was that like big news down there? Oh, gosh. I <laughs> Yes. And uh, frankly, I think that they're doing that a little, little too early. I mean, we okay. got a lot of cases going on here. Um, and it, it was, gosh, I don't know. Yes, it was pretty big. I know. it's You know, everybody's like taking things day by day. Um, but one thing that's super exciting has been your career. So you started when you were like six years old. What gave you the bug and the interest in being in theater? Oh, man. Um, I, I pretty much came out of the womb like super extroverted. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember when I was three years old, I, I won like – a modeling competition just kind of out of out of the blue my mom was like yeah like let's just see if you liked it and then i like won first place so i really liked like being in front of an audience and it just kind of took off from there i started with theater and then it went down the the primrose path it's great so i heard you were like in uh, little mermaid and annie um wizard of oz any of special memories from early days Super early days. I mean, that's where I got all my like friends. I mean, I'm still good friends with a lot of them today. Uh, I mean, it really introduced me to, I mean, just how like it operates. I think that the most special memories for me, uh, I, I just just the feeling of inviting all of my friends and family and knowing that like I I did a good job and I put in the work. That was a very very satisfying feeling for me. One of the other cool things besides being campions that we have in common is that I, my, one of my first jobs as a teenager is I used to get to do magic tricks at Abracadabra Pizza Parlor, and I used to entertain kids. And I found out that you're quite the magician yourself. That is incredible. Abracadabra Pizza Parlor. I've never heard a better name in my life. That's awesome. Um, I, uh, yes, yes, I am a magician at a place called the Magic Castle in LA. Uh, if you're from LA, you probably know what it is because a lot of people uh, talk about it. And not a lot of people get to go because you have to know a magician or someone who works there to actually like be invited. It's like this club for magicians. It's like this showroom. Think of it like a like a comedy club, but like for magicians. And in oh. this it's really cool mansion. Um, it's like this old Victorian style thing. It's amazing. I, I, I'm super blessed to like even be in there. Yeah. <laughs> but do yeah, they, I've been doing it since I was like eight. Do they have like secret passages in the in that castle? They have like so many underground tunnels, and there's like this secret library. Um, you could spend hours just exploring all the secrets there. It's crazy. It sounds like a lot of fun. And speaking of fun, Fuller House. Wow, what was your experience like working on that show? Oh man, that's. <laughs> That's, that's that's a bit of a loaded question there, but I think that overall, I mean, life changing, absolutely 100% positive. I I can't remember a time that I was dissatisfied at all. I mean, you're living this dream. I mean, people think about like like what it's like to be on a, on a legendary show like that, and it's so humbling because I got to you know work with amazing people. They're pretty much my second family now. It's oh, like nice. it's like we're talking about them and like in like the third person they're like oh they're great but no they're like they're like my family i mean we talk on all the time like i just called them all yesterday we uh yeah it's great and i feel so blessed i think blessed is the only word just incredibly blessed to be able to share my talents and have this amazing opportunity really now since you've had your friends since you were your younger days that are still your friends today when you land something really cool like this new um ruby thing that you're doing with netflix um, how do you celebrate with them? Do you call them up and you're like, oh, I got it. I got the part. 
That's so fun. Actually, uh, I'm living with two of my best friends. And okay. so they are uh, like, like we're all trying to go out for, for, for the same stuff. Um, so, well, I mean, well, okay, not, not, not like exactly the same stuff, but like, 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 like we're all out in LA trying to do the same thing. And we are super supportive. Like, like we, um, we help each other with self tapes. We, we drive each other to events. I mean, we're, we're just like cheering all around because we want to, we want to all succeed. You know, we all want to stay out there. And, uh, then the, the kids who actually stay here with theater, um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll call them up like, guys, like, like I just got this thing and they're like, yes, like, let's go. So uh, we're all a big supportive. I mean, every, every actor is very supportive of, of each other, especially like like the tight L.A. life, Yes, in my opinion. Right. Um, and what shoes are you wearing today? What are your favorite kicks? What, what are my what, favorite kicks? Yeah, like what shoes, what shoes are you wearing in Los Angeles? What's the in thing to wear on your feet today? <laughs> What's the in thing to wear? You know, I am not as into shoe culture as, as a lot of them are, but I will say that... Um, there are my 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 best friend is, and he's introduced me to this whole world. And it's uh, th there's there's one pair of shoes that I absolutely cannot get over. Okay. Um, they are uh, 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 Travis Scott Nike shoes, and they're like these special edition, like super high quality, like a weird combination of like brown, pink, and white. And I'm like, these are the best shoes I've ever worn in my entire life. I feel so comfortable. So if you ever come across those. Please That's get them because they're great. That's the pair for me. <laughs> That's the pair for you. Well, we wish you continued success in your journey. Um, and, you know, if there's a favorite song that you like to sing, like when you're doing like karaoke or you're hanging out with some friends, what's your favorite go-to song? My favorite go-to song is Copacabana. Really? <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's so much fun. Um, me, and, <laughs> me and my best friend, Louis, but he's also living with me. Okay. He, uh, he and I, we used to go to this karaoke place uh like 10 minutes from my house and that was like the song we we just tear it up and everyone knew it we had like a little song and dance it was the best thing ever give us a little bit of that at the copa 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 cabana music and passion we're always the fashion at, at the, the copa, copa. <laughs> <laughs> there it is that's it very fun well we wish you all the best thanks for joining us and uh, we wish you the best and happy journeys to you be well yes thank okay, you so much take care, Michael. bye-bye bye-bye